We should put new gas in there. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey. Man, this is state-of-the-art stuff right here. All right, so it's that time of year. Yay, spring is here. And time to get the mowers set up because the grass is growing way faster than I'd like it to. And we need to get out and mow it. Our really old mower is broken from last fall. The engine is just too old and it was leaking oil and really bad shape. It's like 25 years old. So now we have to go to our backup really, really old mower. And that one is like 30 years old. But we have it. I think we put a, we're going to put a battery in it. We're gonna put a spark plug. So we're gonna hope you know, that it starts up and we can use it for a season or two, and not have to buy anything else or put any money into repairs. So Jared and I are gonna to go to the mower shop, get the battery and the spark plug, and bring it back and see if we can get it fired up. The mower store, here we come. Oh, and as a major bonus, I found the key fob for our Oldsmobile, it was on the mower key. It's been on it for probably six years. We haven't used that mower. I've had to use just the regular key to unlock the door. And now I found this. Check this out. He has oh, way, too, way too much focus. Man, this is state-of-the-art stuff right here. I push the button and the door unlocks. Yeah, every year we wait too long. Well, I wait too long. Um, to, to get on board with getting the mowers and all the power equipment in running order. Um, so here we are going last minute because um, the grass is growing, we need parts. If we need service, we'd probably have to wait like four weeks because the mower shops are all so busy with everybody getting their stuff done. And somehow I always get dragged into this. Yeah, I'm teaching, somehow it's... teaching him about how to get your mower. He's learning from my mistakes. Then I'm like Einstein at this point. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, I mean, at least I'm consistent, right? That it's got to count for something. So we're out of the mower store for just over a hundred bucks. Battery, spark plug, oil filter, and oh, I got a belt too for the uh, mower deck. Because that's probably dry rotted. So if that works and the mower works for around a hundred bucks, good deal. Decided to take the back way home from the mower store because the other way, well, it's kind of sort of a back way, but it's all through like just residential areas. Okay, so all that running around took too long. Now we have to have a lunch break. Chicken sandwich. I'm sitting amongst my my flower. So we got the new battery and everything we need. Yeah, Fix the lunch. mower. We ate lunch. Yeah. That's that's important. So here's the mower. Uh, we're gonna put the battery in. It still works. First try. Uh, Jared, my assistant, will lift the battery and place okay, it into the what, battery what are, place. What these springs? Now, okay, now, Good we, job. now we should start assistant it and see Jared. if it works, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Battery's in. Oh wait, we should probably hook up the wires. I'm no electrician, but I know that much. Okay, so we had to improvise on our tool selection because all of our tools are in our RV storage compartment. And our RV is not, wait, it's, 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 no. it's gone. It's gone. It's not here. It's at the uh, dealership getting serviced. So all the tools are in there, so we had to use an adjustable wrench, which is not too bad, and a pliers, so that's probably not good. The moment of yes, truth. the moment of truth. I didn't put the oil filter and spark plug and all that. I just want to see if we get any kind of action out of the starter. Translation, the I'm too lazy. I'm just going to hope for the best. Because if this doesn't work, if the starter's not working, the 
spark plug and oil filter and new belt are not going to make any difference. It's doing something. It... That don't sound good. Yeah, and the other problem is the gas that's in there is probably like eight years old. So we should put new gas in there. <laughs> yeah. So the gas was completely dried out, which isn't surprising after that many years. So Jared, my assistant, is going to be putting the gas. Hold, oh, oh, yep, yeah, take the cap off. Okay, now you gotta push it down. There we go. The gas, it's going in. Okay, let's uh, let's try that for now. All right, got some right. gas. Yes. Go on, Pepper. Come on. Pepper. Yeah, so it's not just work that comes with spring, it's also get to play out in the yard, right? Right, Pepper? Dog's so happy to be at this nice weather, get to play outside. Haha, <laughs> I have the door. Ready? Huh? Having fun? Yeah. Okay, so we got the mower working, finally, with the help of a, a neighbor. Uh, but now we have to drive it up to his place to get a, he has an air compressor. He's going to blow out all the, the mouse nest materials, like insulation and straw and stuff, all up in the engine so it doesn't catch on fire. This is a, a two kid power mower. And we got the mower working. Yay! So now Jared can mow. Awesome. It's times like these, it's great to have teenage kids that can do mowing for you. Yes. So while Jared finishes mowing, I'm going to go and uh, grab a snack. Worked up quite an appetite working on that mower. Okay, so now we're getting on to some work, uh, some more springtime work. Jared mowed the backyard already. It was grass was so thick and long already. It's hard to believe for the beginning of April, but we've had pretty warm weather, and lots of rain. So that's what happens. So now we're gonna rake uh, since we don't have a bagger on our mower. Piles of grass over there. There's our worker that we hired. He's a contractor. He does pretty good work. He works for food, so it's pretty cheap. He does eat a lot though. Oh, he brought two rakes. Good. One for me. Thanks. Hey, Chicky. This is where the grass gets dumped in. With a pile of scrap, old wood. Oh, Jared's going back for more grass. They're not. Yeah, you are. One more pile. Frisbee, flying kites. We like flying kites. Martin, Did you ever find your your stunt kite? Uh, yeah. yeah, we got a really nice stunt kite. Uh, what was it a couple years ago, Jared? Yeah. Right. Down at uh, Ocean City, Maryland. Uh, we were camping at Assateague um, State Park. Picked up a nice stunt kite. Enjoyed it while we were there that year. Um, here at home, it doesn't really get windy that often, but we flew it. I think once here, and now Jared lost it, so we can't. we don't have that anymore. Yeah.